Uh, we got to the funeral site down the street from my great grandmother's house, I believe, and where everybody grew up. Because I remember when we buried my grandfather back in, I believe, February of 96, I could be wrong. We went to the funeral. Now, we went to the website, the website, the grave site. Me, my brothers, we had to stay in the uh, car. I think my sister was there as well. We had to sit in that car and wait. I'm going to ask my mom and dad, how long did that take? Because it felt like forever we were sitting in that car in the rain, I might add. This rental service, we got there, we paid our respects, and we were, we were pretty much out. Everybody paid their final respects. A salute to uh, my auntie. Um, that was my first time ever seeing her going through her stages of grief. Like I said, it was very uncomfortable seeing my mother go through it. It was very uncomfortable to see my auntie go through it as well, but I understand that's their mother. Everybody was talking, uh, chilling. Of course, I stayed to myself. I let everybody uh, pay their respects. While everybody moved away from the, the uh, burial site, that was uh, my time to uh, just have a moment with uh, God and Granny. Um, I started off that prayer apologizing because uh, it, it's, it's very hypocritical for me to hold people to these uh, standards that I um, hold my family to, but not show the same love and grace that I would show everybody else, it made no sense. Like I said, I'm not going to go into details of what happened with my family because that's not my story to tell at all. But I'm sorry, y'all. Um, it was just a moment where I just prayed and I said, I said, I'm sorry. And I was upset at myself and I was uh, emotional at that time because why do I have to wait to get these lessons when somebody passes? As intelligent as I am, as intellectual as I can be, I should not have to wait to get this after somebody passed. It's, it's always after somebody passes. And granted, a lot of people around me do, do not do, do not die. For the most part, I'm, I'm uh, like I don't like I don't have the uh, um, the um, I know some people they lose they constantly lose a family or friends or childhood uh, friends or whatever like almost on a daily basis. I'm not going to call on any city because uh, that's there's no time, there's no reason for that. I could count how many times I lost people in my life that I was real um, close with. Um, I think the last, of course, my grandfather uh, passed in 96. Salute, uh, recipes to Ralph and Mossy, uh, Mossy. We lost both of them, and uh, those are my uh, friends from uh, high school. We lost them uh, my senior year. Um, um, and I haven't lost anybody that close. Well, no, take that back. Yes, I have. I have uh, one individual from my church I lost. Two of them, actually. Three. Wow, Jesus Christ, man. This is crazy. Uh, maybe, maybe. I lost a lot of people that I think about it. But um, but let me let me let me stay focused because this is crazy. Um with the people that I lost, I always learn some type of lesson that I should have just learned while they were still here. Um this case around, it was just about forgiveness. I should never head on to that hurt. 
I should have just let it go like I would do with anybody else. I just took that moment to pray. And just, just apologize to Granny and God. Now, I felt something on my hand. It was my mother who got, came back and got me and gave me a hug. And walked away. I turned around, looked at that uh, casket. I said goodbye, Granny. Yeah.